What is going on, everybody? Jimbo Thick here, and we are back from our break. Um, last we left off, the boys just finished their endeavors. A year has passed in Sealburg. Currently, these are things that you would have noticed have happened in over the uh, the course of time that has uh, that has passed. Um, first off, the zealots at the Silk Canary have have been very, very um, adamant about driving away business from this establishment. Um, it, is, it is of note that Huss has never gone there himself. It's only the people that kind of hang out around him and outside of the uh, Temple of Sigmar that have gone over there and uh, had been doing this. Um... You would have learned this, uh, Marius, through your endeavors, through your dealings with Brandyfoot, that he has been losing men in the mine due to collapses, and which is one reason why he's very attentive to getting better equipment, because he's hopeful that he'll get better materials, and therefore with better materials, perhaps his mine wouldn't collapse all the time. But um, there's been more and more accidents and more and more miners are needed. So there's more and more people traveling to Sealburg. Um, the Silver Thaggy is doing much better due to the, uh, the absence of people at the Canary. And that kind of brings you up to speed with what's happening in Sealburg. However, there's one thing we do need to address before we get into the game. Mary Swolf, you had an engagement very true. With Lady Sarah. You were to be married. We don't have to RP it. Okay. Is she dead? But do you want the wedding to have happened? Or do you want yeah. to have it happen in the future? <laughs> we'll say it happened within this year, okay. I guess. All right. So within oh, this year, man, oh, you got married. You the best batch of Who uh, was your best man? My best man? Ooh. Mm -hmm. It's tough. Um, it's probably going to be mm. Krieger. Krieger? And... No. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> <laughs> what? Okay. <laughs> you just, just see her, man. Marius, I never knew you found me so <laughs> not like a friend. You know? uh, spot on. Oh, spot Thank on. Okay. Um, it'd probably be Seamus. Probably okay. Seamus. Okay. Mm. Um, Seamus. Were... would be in, in my 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 uh, groomsman. You know. Your groomsman, of course, of course. <laughs> but I've I've <laughs> but I've known I've known Seamus a long time. Yeah. Yes. So. The three of them, um, where did it take place? That's a good question. Uh, what, what places, what locales do I have available? Um, there are several places in Sealburg. Um, you could have done it in the town square. You can technically get married at any establishment that you'd like. Um, you know, you want to go over the Silk Canary and get married? Go ahead. Um, I will say, I, can, I, can I would, I would Marius, like a good a good groom would, he's not making the decision, it's probably up to Sarah. Mm -hmm. uh, and so, wherever Sarah wanted to have it. She requests, if that's the case, she requests that mm -hmm. you go outside of the walls during the day. Okay. Um, this would, would have required the mercenary band that Bragadine employs to make sure that there weren't wasn't anything lurking in the woods. They yeah. would have cleared out anything anything too too dangerous. Mm -hmm. And there's a spot that you probably have taken her in the past, back when you were were dating, also long long ago. Just prospector. Yeah. When you were just a prospector, and you spent a lot of time out in the woods, um, specifically near your original campsite by the by the stream, mm -hmm. and it's very beautiful there. And you're able to have your wedding there out, out in the woods, um, about a little over a mile or so outside of Sealburg. And it's a beautiful wedding. Your daughter is the flower girl 
and she still oh, doesn't man. like you and doesn't oh, give you a hug. I was going to say, does, oh. does, does she love me now? Nope, she does not. That's, that's sad, man. Oh, little little that Priscilla. Is, she's she's that at that, that age. age. A little Priscilla and, just kind of, uh, oh, she like just kind of stands by her mother. And What about uh, Uncle Seamus? Uncle Seamus is creepily staring at her with his mask off. He's all scarred as shit. It's, it's creepy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, but, <laughs> and then you got Uncle Bragadine who's missing an eye. <laughs> so yeah, exactly. you guys, you guys yeah, are looking real good. By surrounded yeah. by bridesmaids. Yeah. So they lo- they love the accent. So yeah. So all of that transpires. You, the the wedding goes off beautifully. Um, I'm going to say that we would probably have. Um, the uh we'll probably have the governor would be the only one that I could think of that Design. could uh that could preside. Yeah. No. Um hold okay. on one second, boys. I'll be right back. L for Marius's uh, wedding. Too late. <laughs> it's yeah. too late. He hates I hate you. It's too powerful. <laughs> <laughs> However <laughs> Um So the the wedding goes off as planned. Um Thordum does not does not come outside. However, he does host a a the the reception essentially at the Thaggy. Yes. All right, all right. And you guys are allowed to drink and all of that. You you know from personal experience he doesn't leave the bar. He has taken an oath to protect it, and so he never leaves. <laughs> so so yes. Um, regardless, though. Ooh. Um, all of this happens, and your wedding goes off, and you are now a married man. What you choose to do with that, do with as you will. Um, many, many of the higher ups in society, probably, or not necessarily society, but in Sealburg, come to to see this as well. Um, oh, really? Okay. Yes, you're. You are quite the pivotal figure in uh, in Sealburg. Actually, you are rather infamous. As a a pit fighter, and then you were a well established miner before you left, and you and Seamus were both very pivotal in saving the city originally. Hell so, yeah, we were. <clears throat> so some some wealthy individuals come to the wedding. Um, the ones you do not see at the wedding, uh, Mister Gold, does not come. Obviously, however, he does have representatives that come to the wedding. Um, specifically Bragadine, since Bragadine's one of his men. Um, yeah. in addition to that, <laughs> in addition to do that, we, do we know he's one of his men? Yeah. Is yes. Like an open, yes, open you do. Or it's not oh, open. It's geez. not, oh, it's, this isn't like, oh, it's not overt that he is, but you would have learned, I'm assuming, uh, Marius would have told you at some point, Seamus, that Marius has learned that he is working for gold. Yeah, Marius would have shared that information with with Seamus and Bragging. And Bragging, yes. So yeah. yeah. So yes, you know at this mm-hmm. point, um, you you see several of the many of the locals come to the wedding, and um, old man Otto. Yeah, old man Otto does come. He comes and. The uh, kind of somberly, the priest from from Moore's Garden, uh, Father Horst, comes to the to the presiding. Um, yes. Father Huss, however, does not. The Sigmarite priest that you that you've yet to meet, actually. Um, neither do his scoundrels. And I would think that. You probably get. Um, I don't know if you remember Mr. Hugo. He was the uh, original blacksmith for the town. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, Mr. Hugo comes um, with his family. Hmm. And. His daughter there? His, he, he has. It's his him niece. and his wife, and there is a little girl about the same age. As his previous daughter, whom he regretfully, regretfully informs you, has passed away um, a few years back, and this is Emma? their their is new job. Emma? Yes, no, it was uh... Uh, not Emma. It was um... 
I can have it find it. down. That was. I gotta find it. Was it uh, little uh, Abby? Yes. Yes, um, Abby, yeah. So his wife, Misuna, and his daughter, Abby. And Abby apparently now, is no longer with Was that his us. daughter, or was that his niece? He he says it's his daughter. Okay. That's what okay. he says. Uh, but they do attend the wedding. Um, and yeah, everything else goes off smoothly. You're wed, and uh, happily ever after. However, not so happily ever that's, that's after. Pretty- was Krieger there? Krieger was there with uh, with with Governor Freeze. <laughs> yes, yes, he was, and he gave the dirty eyeball to Seamus and uh, to Bragadine <laughs> the entire time. Yeah, more so yeah. Bragadine than anyone else. But uh, yes, that all transpired. We are going to pick up in an interesting place. We are picking up outside of town. A full year has passed since you last um, entered this uh, this this place. All of the information that you've discovered has uh, come. You, I'm assuming, you guys have all shared amongst yourselves. And currently, there's a championship being held for the Pit Fighter of Sealberg. Who? is going to reign supreme. Since Mr. Gold's original pawn shop has been burned down to the ground, a new ring has been built outside of town. Accidents happen. It's, yes, it's in the dark. (laughs) A hole was dug um, to make a pit. The pit has been lined with with wooden stakes. Um, not, not Not like pointing in like spears. Like just lining the the walls so that it would keep the earth yeah. up. Yes. Yeah. Um, there is a, a a small rope ladder that is uh, thrown in when you want to leave the pit, but it's assumed everyone just jumps in when they need to. And it's a, it's a, uh, a eight foot pit. So when you jump down in, you're down in it, and everybody just kind of gathers it, along the edges and watches and places bets. Is it like Thunderdome? Two men enter, one man leads. Similar to Thunderdome. Um, Yeah, yeah, extremely similar. Oh, yeah. Uh, Marius, the rules of this fight are the same rules that you've been um, using this entire time. No shirts, no shoes, no knuckle dusters, bare fists. You are currently in the ring. Seamus and Bragadith, are you guys present? Hell yeah, and I'm oh, betting yeah. on I'm betting on my boy as okay. always. Yeah, same here. Bragging right. gonna lay some coin. All but right. Also, I would yes. like to scan the audience see if there's anybody who I may have a warrant for. Okay, go ahead and give me a perception check. Uh, ooh, forty four out of fifty one. Okay, critical success. You're scanning the audience as all these people are are betting and starting to throw throw money down. And the the same ring announcer is there, about to uh, step up to the stool, up to he's a, he's a small halfling himself, um, probably related to Mister Gold, who knows? And you're scanning the crowd, Seamus. You see, there's several ogres present, um, which is not unusual. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of ruffians, a lot of miners, a lot, just a lot of people from Sealberg are actually out here. It's a big gathering. Word has gotten out that there is going to be a championship match. And as you're looking, you see a face. You look at it, and that sure looks like Dirk Diggler. <laughs> oh my oh, god. Shit. Oh no. Good god. The infamous Dirk Diggler. <laughs> the infamous Dirk Diggler. He's got a creepy stash. He's he's just kind of he's enthralled looking down. He you can see him at the edge of the pit. Um <laughs> he's in <laughs> He's in kind of um, 
kind of dirty, kind of dingy clothes. Um, he doesn't. He looks like he's probably trying to conceal his identity, but he is. Mm. He is wanted for some some questionable uh, some questionable acts that he apparently performed <laughs> inside of the is Silk he? Canary, and oh, oh my. and apparently were warranted enough for uh, a bounty to be put on his head, and mm, so. There is a sizable bounty on Mr. Dirk Diggler's head. <laughs> uh, I'll keep that noted. <laughs> okay, you keep that note. You kind of take a beat on him. Um, <laughs> Marius, you're you're shirtless. Yes. You know, you know, kind of kind of giving some stretches in. Um, the ground of the pit is just packed earth, no sand. And the, the announcer steps up. Yes, yes, yes! Finally, it is the day has come when the lone wolf will challenge our champion! He's kind of announcing out people. Oh, yeah! Um, people freaking out. Uh, money's exchanging hands. Today, he will go up against... The mighty Bobo! And people are like, yeah, yeah, right. You're doomed, bro. You're doomed. And um, an ogre, uh, two ogres actually, walk over towards the back (laughs) behind the crowd. And you hear them (laughs) dragging something towards the pit. Um, it gets to the edge of the pit and you notice it is a steel cage. Um, is it a bear? They open the cage and a seven foot tall bear spills out into the ring. Black furred. It has, it looks like they've taped like makeshift gloves over its front two paws. But the claws are poking out of the top of him. And Bobo stands up to his full seven foot height and looks down at you and bellows in your face. I need you to give me a cool check, Marius Wolf. (laughs) I was wondering what could beat the czar, you know? I was like, what's going to be scarier than the czar, you know? Ah, jeez. I rolled. You said cool check. Cool I check. A 55, 55 out of sixty-five. Marius, nice. you you steal yourself in this moment um, as this massive cave bear just bellows in your face, and people in the crowd get hushed, and several of them are like, "Oh, yeah!" And um, yeah, the is fight my wife is about in to the be audience? gone. Your wife is not in the audience. She does not come to see these events. Thank She's God. horrified about uh, yeah. usually come up beaten, but this might be a different story. We'll see. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it is a large creature. Um, need you to roll me initiative, Marius. Okay. That would be uh, 12. All right, all right. Marius. Um, all of this happens. Oh, I do need uh, Seamus and Bragadine to roll me initiative as well. Ooh. Uh, ooh. I rolled a... an 8. Okay. Oh, man. And Bragadine? I rolled, uh, I got a one, so I've got a six. Okay. All right. Um, Marius, it is your turn as the bear spills out, raises up to its full height, and bellows yeah. at you. You steal your nerves, <laughs> and the announcer is like, Yes, the mighty Bobo! Fight! And uh, it's your your go. Go ahead, Marius. Uh, are there rules in this in this ring? Um, <laughs> you currently have no weapons on you. You're shirtless. Mm-hmm. You know you're yep, not wearing yep. armor. 
It's spo- it was supposed to be a boxing match, and apparently the bear is supposed to box somehow. We'll see. Uh, yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> we'll see. Um, but yes, this is the current champion of Sealberg is a bear. Okay, all right, makes sense. Um, like what? The reason I ask is because I have dirty fighting. You yes, know? you do. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> I was just wondering, uh, does this bear have nuts? Um, this is a female bear. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. That was a dirty fight, man. It dirty. just so happens to be a female. Yeah, I'm, the <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm just gonna. Uh, you know, gonna roll on attack, I guess. So okay, I'm roll me an attack. This bear. Punch this bear. Punch this bear. Punch this bear. He's gonna try to dodge. Fuck this bear, bro. <laughs> no, bro. Oh. oh shit! That's a thirty-three out of sixty-eight. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. No, it, it, it can't be on your first attack. Old, old man. It's the first bear. attack. Um, yep. Okay. All right. What is your... Uh, all right. All right. All right. My damage. It's, what's, your, what's your damage? So my strength is seven plus that strike mighty blow. So mm-hmm. eight. Eight um, damage. Just for the hit. Okay. Yep. And, uh, and I will and... say that bypasses the armor and toughness. It's, it has a naturally okay. thick hide. So... It's sure. hide access armor. Um, yeah. So eight. All right. That's three levels of success as well. Yeah. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And um, go ahead and roll me a D100, please. Okay. 73. 73 is... Go up to the top. All right. That is... The okay, it's a body blow. All right, roll me one more. Okay. Five. I'll break those ribs. Five. Yep. All right. Okay, you rock it hard in the gut, and the sheer force of your fist, you actually open up. A small cut as you pound in, and your kind of your elbow kind of scrapes along its uh, its underbelly, and there's a there's a cut, and you see the bear actually start to bleed from the cut. Okay, okay, um, and then I'll punch with my other hand. Okay, go ahead and give me a, a second attack roll. I get momentum for the first one. Uh yes, but you don't get you can't get two in one round. So two even if you hit with this one, you won't get an extra. Okay, uh, I rolled an eight out of seventy-eight. Okay, that's a hit, and it is also uh, in the body. So what is your damage? So it's seven. That's uh fifteen. Wait, yeah, fifteen. Fifteen damage. damage. All right. Oh shit! Bear's not looking good already. You boom, boom, rocket to the body. Um, it's over. A cut opens up, and it stumbles back a couple steps from your inhuman strength. I might add. Um, it stumbles <laughs> back. And Seamus. Yes. It is your turn. You're in the crowd. Um, go ahead and give me a perception test, uh, Seamus. Uh, 54 out of 51. Okay. You're keeping eyes on that, uh, on Dirk over there. And oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, the, the Diggler is enthralled. Him. The Diggler is enthralled with what's happening down in this pit. He's just he's just lockstep. He watches at each blow he kinda he kinda oh, oh and you can see that he is um he's he's very much he's not moving yet, but he is uh he's nudging a couple guys next to him and appears like he has an entourage with him. And would you like to do anything, Seamus? Um I- I would like to move through the crowd using sh- my shadow talent if it applies. Yes, um, I will allow that. To him. 
Yeah, no problem. Um, uh, what is it? Does it have you roll anything? Do you know? Uh, I think I only have to roll if they're like actively looking. Let me yeah, back. in that in that case, don't worry about it. Um, you you okay. start closing in on him. I'm gonna say next turn. You could get to him. Um, as of right now, he's just he's just one turn away from you. So you've okay. been circling around the outside of this ring because this is a, it's a fairly large ring. But yes, you begin doing that, and that brings us to the bear's turn. Um, Marius, get ready for the pain. The <laughs> bear, <laughs> and as it does, its claws flex and it shreds the gloves on it, and the outro's like, "Oh no." <laughs> We're about to see some blood, individuals! Stand back! <laughs> and the bear is going to try to gut you now, so I need you to uh, to dodge, because you can't block it. Yeah. I'm going to dodge it, yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> 17 out of 60. Okay. Um, I got a 22. <laughs> um, Fuck! You're not wearing right, any armor. Bring it on. So let's nope. uh, let, let's let's bring it on. Let's 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 just roll with it. Let's see what it does. Let's see what it does. <laughs> oh. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, Seamus is familiar with this one. The oh claw swipes <laughs> down and slashes across your right shoulder. And yeah. tears it open. You have a gaping wound. You, ah! you have two bleeding conditions. Oof. And yeah. until you receive surgery, um, anytime this arm is wounded, it will continue. It will re-bleed once again um, until sure. you receive surgery. Okay. Um, but is yes. there minus any movements with it or anything? No, no. It's just your right arm. You are at minus... Uh, let me make sure... Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the damage too? Oh yes, the damage. We should probably probably go over that. The damage yes. is going to be. Ooh. Uh, fifteen wounds. Fuck. All right. Uh, You're still standing, Maris. I am. That was a big chunk of my health. Though. Yeah. You, ah! You flinch back. And then with its other part, and it's going to try to slice you again. So I need you to try to dodge. <laughs> dodge again? All right. I'm going to use my last fate point. <laughs> or fortune point. Yeah. I critically failed. Uh, this one's a little bit better. 13 out of 50 now. Just regular 50. You barely move out of the way, Marius. Ooh. I mean, barely. You kind of ah, you stumble back, and the claw whoosh, yeah. swipes over the top of your head. This thing looks super angry. Um, yeah. That is the end of the bear's turn. Yeah. It is now uh, Bragadine's turn. All right. So, am I like right at the edge here, looking down with the crowd ro roaring around me? Um, if you want to be, you could be further back in the crowd if you'd like. Okay, a little bit further back, just as long as I, I'm short, so I want to make sure I, I can see well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, how does uh, how does Marius look? Marius doesn't, doesn't look good. Like he looks, um, he looks <laughs> he looks pretty bad. He's bleeding profusely, and he just got savaged by a uh, a wild animal, from what it appears. Okay. Um, is this is uh would Bragadine know the rules? Is this something like uh I'm gonna throw in the towels, Rocky? You've been I mean, you've been to fights with Marius before. And you know the rules are you don't leave until you're unconscious or dead. Right. Um those okay. are the rules. Alright, I wanna I wanna move forward, try mm -hmm. and shove my way through forward up to where I could see Marius and hopefully he can hear me. And I'm going to. Marius, quit holding him back. I've seen you defeat creatures three times its size and three times as many. I know you can smash this creature. Let the beast out. Uh, can I give him a little charm or leadership trying to boost him up? Uh, yeah, go ahead and give me a leadership roll. 
66. But I needed 70. So I got a critical success. Um, yeah, it's leadership. It's not charm. So yes, yes, you do. Critical success. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm allowing... Uh, in this moment, I okay. will allow the inspiration that's flowing from, from Bragdon. and you hear him uh, call out to you, uh, Marius, and you can make a free attack if you choose. Oh, sweet. Okay. Uh, like, it is out of turn? Yes. Or yeah, one? you can just make one right now. Oh, okay. Roll a one, bro. Roll a one. <laughs> uh, I'll roll. Uh, that is a 26 out of 68. Oh, no. 78 now. Okay. Uh, damage, please. Uh, that would be... Seven, five, 12. No, 13. 13. Okay. It, the creature, as it's swiping over you, you duck underneath, you hear bracketing calling out, and then you just, almost like a wild haymaker, you strike it in its like right, right shoulder, and it's meaty. And, and it's hard. And it mm. almost hurts your hand as you hit it. You... Ah! Um, let's see here. Eight. You said 15? Uh, 13. Oh, 13. Okay. Yep. Woo! Okay. The bear flinches away once again. Doesn't look uh, very good. And um, that is the end of Raggedine's turn, which brings us to Marius Wolf. Um, you have two bleeding conditions. Mm-hmm. You can use a resolve now to uh, subtract one, but then you're going to take one wound from your remaining bleeding condition. Okay, I will do so. Okay. Then. You can use your action to try to patch it, or you can just tough it out and try to end this fight. The choice is yours. Uh, I'm going to try to tough it out and end it. Okay. Uh, so I'm going in for a, a punch. All right, go ahead and roll in. 18 out of 88. That's a hit. It's a hit. It can't, it can't flinch out of the way quick enough. It's a big bear. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but that would be 15 damage. 15 damage. Let me make sure here. It's still up. Marius, it's still up. As you oh, you hit it again and it, it falls back. It stumbles back a little bit. And it looks like it's in severe pain. And you hit it in its left arm this time. Okay. Last last roll. On again. 47 out of 98. Marius. How do you end this cave bear <laughs> with your bare hands? <laughs> <laughs> nice. Did I kill this thing, bro. It's. I mean, kill you Bobo? knock. You minimum knock it out. If you want to kill oh, it, okay. you can. Um, I mean, is it a bad bear? I mean, it's it's a bear. It just ripped he into stole, you. It's up to you. He stole so many picnic baskets, bro. Oh, shit, man. The, you beat me. I'm yeah. married. Mary's- Marius is probably he's very angry that he's bleeding, you know. Um, oh, yeah. So he's probably going to try to kill it if he can. Well, how do you do it then, Marius? Um, I guess I guess he's going to, like, after his, his first attack kind of lands in, it kind of stumbles back, he, like, runs in there and, like, grabs it by the jaw and just kind of Samson's it, you know, like, breaks open his, his, oh, his jaw. Oh, my God. Yeah. Nice. Okay. You put a poop in his jaw and it kind of oh, it falls down into the dirt. Um, and you're holding the remains of a bear jaw in your hands, kind of uh, 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 bleeding actively just, from your arm. Just a savage wound um, in yeah. your shoulder. I just lift up the jaw and just. Uh, yeah, and everybody's. Yeah. Uh, Everybody just starts freaking out. Um, the announcer, yes, yes, we have a new champion. Um, it's in this moment, Seamus. Let me let me roll for this. Dick Diggler. 
Go Dirt's ahead and roll moves. your your stealth, <laughs> Seamus. <laughs> My stealth? Yeah, roll your stealth. I want to see if he right. sees you. Still, is that chilly? Uh, he he. Well, I'm gonna re-roll. Ah, he does see me. It's a fifty out of forty-two. Unfortunately, he does. He looks up, Seamus, and spots you. Um, are you wearing your mask? No. You're not wearing your mask? Um, he sees the no. savage face. However, the headsman never leaves home without his trusty thunderer over his back. A very mm -hmm. recognizable mm -hmm. weapon. And you see the Dirk's eyes go wide. Huh? His kind of mustache kind of flutters a little bit around his around his mouth. <laughs> and he uh, he taps a couple of the guys around him, and then he, he just begins to bolt through the crowd as fast as he can. Um, it is your turn, Seamus. Uh, would I have an estimate how much he is worth? Um, let's see here. He's worth six gold pieces. Oh, oh I'm, I'm, I'm running after him. <laughs> you start running after him. You, you uh, go ahead and give me athletics check. Oh, God. It's horrible. 89 out of 52. No. You start trying to push your way through the crowd, and the people are just preventing you from making headway. And you yeah, barely get to the edge of the crowd, and you can see Dirk running out into the woods. <laughs> um, that is the end of your turn, Seamus. Um, that brings us to Bragadine. All right, um, so my man Marius is just one. Wait, very, very quickly, I might add. I'm talking about this. This happened within a minute. This bear stumbled into the arena, the arena, and savaged him. But then he utterly destroyed it and ripped its jaw off with his bare hands. I'm all the guys around me. Oh, it's my man down there. There he is. You see him, Marius the Mountain. Pay up, pay up, pay up. Okay, and let's see how much you made off that fight, Bragadine. Bragadine, you made 13 gold coins off of that fight. Oh, shit. Nice. Wow. Um, yeah, so uh, are you doing anything else, Bragadine? I am looking around for Seamus. As my free action, so I, okay. I I don't know if that would be my action because it's kind of a yeah you're kind of that. exchanging money getting yeah. it from the guy. Then you realize Seamus isn't with you, and you go looking around for him. Um, exactly. Next turn, yeah. I'm, I'm yeah. Next turn, you you do see him um, across the way, and it looks like he is he is moving away. He's on the other side of the arena, which is strange, and he's moving uh, moving away out into the woods of all places. Can I do an intuition check on that? Uh, yeah, go ahead and give or me an intuition gonna... check. That's fine. Yeah, yeah we can do that. So we can do see, that now. See if I can figure out what he's doing. Okay. Uh, cock eyed. Let me, uh, it's either 22 or 78. Cock eyed, man. Um, can I just re roll it? That's or... fine. Yeah. Damn it. 74. Yeah, so no, you're, you're not. I mean, Seamus is. Yeah, he's a, he's a strange guy. He does strange things. You're not exactly sure what the hell he's doing. Mm, okay. Um, he didn't collect any of his winnings. That's for sure. Um, in fact, uh, his his uh, the the bookie is silently tucking away what uh, Seamus is owed and is trying to slink away at this point. Um, oh, but before you that. can do anything, <laughs> yes, it, that's the end of your turn. You do notice that. All right, um, thank you. That brings us to uh, to Marius as the announcer um, motions downwards and two of the ogres boom, boom, jump down into the pit and begin very greedily grabbing a hold of this bear. And you can see both of them openly salivating as they began to hoist it easily. Out of the ring, and um, you're pretty sure they're gonna go eat that somewhere. Um, <laughs> they hoist it up out of the crowd, and they 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 climb out of the pit as quick as they possibly can. 
and um, Marius. It's uh, it's it's technically we're still in initiative until Seamus resolves whatever he's going to resolve. So, what would you like to do, Marius? I'm assuming I take another point of damage. You yeah, you can use a resolve if you want to not take it, or um, you can just. I only have I only have one resilience. Oh um, shit! So I only have one mm. resolve. Um, can I make a heal check on myself? Yeah, yeah. You can go and make a heal the, check at, at this point. Pit. Yeah. Okay. Um, is that doctor around? The pit doctor. The pit doctor is up and out of the pit. You have to get out. Noticing you're that wounded, he will um, he will hop down. He's kind of an older looking guy, and he kind of walks up to you. Um, I can have him make a check for you. Okay, and that's probably what I'll oh, do. Yeah. I'll, I'll get yeah. out or, or get to him. Or, or, yeah. yeah, he he jumps down, seeing you're you're bleeding bad, and he he comes yeah. down to you and um, easily patches up the wound. Um, he just kind of stretches some, some, uh, some, some gauze, essentially like bandages over the wound and the bleeding stops. But he does remark and tells you that, uh, you're, you're probably going to go need to to see the sisters or, uh, or something of that sort. So yes. Yeah. All right. And that will bring us finally back to, uh, Seamus McCready. Um, how far away is Mr. Diggler? Mr. Diggler is a full 30 feet from you, Seamus. Oh, that's not far at all. Uh, so I don't have a crowd of people oh, in my way. You're, you're right at the edge of the crowd. Ooh. Mm. Um, hmm. Do you know what the stats are on the net? I couldn't find any stats. So, if I believe... Let me check here. All right, let me check my net stuff. So I want to say it is. I want to say it's just an entangling weapon. Um, make sure though. The net, net, net. Accessories for drink. I know what's in here because I've seen it. Um, miscellaneous, there we go. Hmm. I cannot find it again, but we'll say basically what it is is um, you'll make a ranged attack mm-hmm. and it's going to inflict entangling conditions. Um, it inflicts right. one, and then for every success you have, it inflicts. Uh, it'll inflict another. All right. I assume I use my range entangling. Uh, yes. All right. I want to use the net then. All right. So just make me a ranged roll because I don't think you have um, oh. that kind of stuff. So. Seamus has ranged entangling. Oh, you do? Okay. Well, then yes. He you does. Can use that. Uh, who? That's a fifty-five out of fifty-six. Okay, mm. you easily um, within thirty feet because you're you're strong enough uh, at this point mm. to um, to toss the net out, and you 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 kind of get this net ready at your side. And as you're moving, you push through the crowd. And as you're moving towards towards uh, the Diggler, you <laughs> hoist the net, and it's got some some weights on the end of uh, some of the uh, the points on the net. You kind of spin it over your head and toss it out. And as you do, it wraps around and entangles um, entangles the man, catching on his person. And he kind of... Uh, 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 and he falls down to the ground, his mustache um, quivering with fear at this point. Um, there is... Uh, and then you, you have easily... You have enough movement to move up to him at this point. And mm-hmm. you have collected a bounty. Yes. So that will break... Combat as Seamus has collected a, another bounty. Um, he's nice. worth six gold pieces alive, but you have to bring him back to Sealburg and deliver him to um, mm-hmm. to Otto. All right, all right, and combat is over, so we're out of initiative, guys. So you are free to do as you will. Um, well, Seamus will you know throw the bounty over his shoulder or drag him, depending on how big this man is. 
He's he's not a very big uh, man. Yeah. Uh, and I'll make my way to Rachel, my horse. Okay. You start moving I, I towards will... Rachel. Go ahead, Bragadine. Um, Bragadine is going to go chat with the bookie. Okay. The bookie is trying to slink away. Um, exactly. And he's trying to disappear into the crowd. So go ahead and give me a uh, perception roll, Bragadine. Okay. And this is going to be opposed by his stealth. Okay. Uh, what was my penalty for my eye? Negative ten. Okay. You're yeah. You're a minus. Uh, wait, hold on. No, I think it's a minus. Okay. Yeah, it's a minus ten. It, that can be. Okay. Um, if you take endeavors, since you didn't do it this time, if you take endeavors, That's you can start to do. heal it. Uh, hear that, viewers? Man. All right. So I'm just setting my goal here. So it'll be six. Plus fifty-one. I gotta get a fifty-seven. I rolled 30. So, two levels of success. Two levels of success. Um, mm -hmm. Alright, you're looking. You've got a beat on him. Uh, Bregadine, as he's starting to sweep into the crowd and he looks over the, his shoulder at you and notices that you're looking at him. You see him tuck the uh, Seamus' earnings in a pouch under his under his uh, kind of um, like trench that he's wearing. And mm -hmm. he, he it looks like he stumbles and then you don't see him. He was right there. You look around and he's gone. As the crowd is dispersing, he has successfully snuck away with Seamus's earnings. <laughs> all right. Well, uh, we will send the uh, lab doctor does the later. Book, does the bookie uh, give me my gold for winning? So your gold for Who winning. Who gives me my gold? Marius, you you end up getting out of the ring, and people are starting to already kind of break up and go because it's getting late, and you guys are out in the woods. Um, the ogres are already starting to rip pieces off that bear, and they're already starting to eat it, um, which is also making p people quickly uh, move away from what is happening. And the announcer comes up to you. Well done, Mr. Wolf. Well done indeed. This is with pleasure from Mr. Goldgrabber. He imparts upon you the title of Pit Fighting Champion of Sealburg. Well, you will be required to defend your title if you wish to keep it. But you also receive a significant sum. And he nods over to one of the ogres standing next to him who produces a sack Marius and hands it to you yeah, I look in the sack you take the sack there's a lot of weight in the sack he hands it to you you open the sack and w when you get time to count it mm -hmm. you see 20 gold pieces. Oh, shit. You see 30 silver pieces. And you see somewhere around 40 or 50 brass pieces in this sack. It is a significant sum of money. Okay. With pleasure from Mr. Gold... Oh, and he wanted me to deliver a message to you as well. Marius is just staring at him. He, he, yes, um, he, he says that uh, the city has what he referred to as a, a, a rat problem. And he's looking for for help. That's, that's all he... Yeah. Marius cracks a smile and walks away. I'll tell him you'll be in touch. And the bookie slowly turns and kind of motions for one of the ogres to follow him. Um, yes. So, Seamus, uh, you, you get to Rachel at this point, easily dragging mm -hmm. this man behind you. He's kind of kicking and screaming. Mm -hmm. Um... 
And as you're dragging him over, two more men walk up to you. Oi! What, what you doing with, with Duck? <sighs> do you really want to do this? Well, I think, and then you, you, you turn around, Seamus, at this point, and they see you, and their faces go bleach white. Oh, <gasps> uh, we meant, we, we, we meant no, no disrespect, uh, good, good sir. No, none, none whatsoever. And they're trying to, to back away, um, not trying to turn their back to you. And they're, they're quickly stepping. And when they get to about 10 feet away from you, they uh, immediately turn and run. Mm. Run off into the woods. Mm. Well, Dirk, uh, looks like your friends aren't worth shit. <gasps> oh, God. Oh, God. Please. I didn't do it. I got a little dick. It's pathetic. Don't do it. It's all a lie. I don't know what you could have done to be wanted by the proprietors of the canary, but a man like you must have been disgusting. I'm, I'm telling you, I didn't do it. Please just let me go. You don't know what they're going to do to me. I'll pay you. Mm. Oh, that's right. That's right. I can, I can pay you. I think I'll pay myself, and I'll start like reaching into any pockets that he's down. got on him. Um, oh, go shit. ahead. Go ahead. And give me an intuition test, <laughs> Seamus. Damn. Uh, ooh, that's a three out okay. of fifty-one. Seamus, you begin. You begin um, reaching into his pockets. You find like an odd assortment of things. Um, and it, nothing really of any value. But then, you know, there's something um, you've experienced over the years. Um, you've killed a lot of people and you've collected a lot of bounties. <laughs> and unsavory men like this that beg for their life, um, this one in particular, as you're feeling him up, you notice that he, you, you don't find any kind of like money purse. And then you, 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 you intuit it must be in his prison wallet. <laughs> oh yeah oh no uh, I hope we can find a hand know. check <laughs> <laughs> oh god mm. well Derek you better not piss on my horse and I'll get on the horse and take him to town <laughs> okay uh, you don't want to take his prison wallet I mean come on it's right there his prison wallet <laughs> <laughs> okay you load him up on the horse. Um, Bragadine and Marius, you guys see Seamus do this. He's got a guy loaded up on the back of his horse. Um, you'd recognize... Uh, Bragadine, you might recognize him as, as Dirk Diggler. I mean, you, you've you seen him in the Canary before. <laughs> you've seen him. Yeah, I'm regular there. So. Yeah, I mean, you're regular yeah, yourself, so you've seen him there before. He's Quite like, Dirk, what's going on? <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, they're if, catching if him I... for last Wednesday, I see. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I don't think they ever got the stains out. Mm. What were you gonna say, Seamus? Um, if I yeah, if I pass them, um, like on the way to town, I'll let them know that I'll meet them at um, uh, Thordoon's. All right, you do so. And is there anything either of you want to do before heading into town, Marius and uh, uh, Brady? Um, question. Yes. Uh, quick question. Mm -hmm. um, I know I'm silver tier now. Um, you are. Oh yes, we. I, I forgot. Had... We need to roll for money. So let's go ahead and roll that real quick. Um, and I also have a question about the money I had before. Oh, um, money you had I before is gone. Okay. I did, Wipe I it did, clean. I I... Okay. <laughs> All of you. Nothing. You have only what I've given you. Well, okay. what what about my gold that I got? You tomorrow? the gold you no, got no, during your down. endeavor will stay. That's fine. You can keep when, that. When we. When we reach gold tier, do we get to keep it? What do you mean? Is that the way it works? I thought I thought there was a class system like if yeah, oh yeah if you're like so you, tier, bank that stuff, you have to you have to take an endeavor to to keep it to invest it okay yeah okay, yeah cool. do I what do I roll um for you let me uh, I am silver five 
Okay, so roll um, 5d4. Oh, do I need to do that too then? Yeah, what level of silver oh, are you? Shit. Do you know? 5. Yeah, same thing. 5d4. Uh, I got 16. Okay, you have 16 silver pieces in addition to what you hopefully will be collecting. Uh, Brigadine? Uh, man, those are terrible. Is that three, three, six, and another four, ten? All right, so you have ten silver pieces in addition to whatever else you've you've already collected a significant sum of gold. So mm. there's that. Um, Marius rolled. Marius is silver two, so I rolled two d four, right? Yeah, two d four. So I got five silver. Right, cool. Five silver, in addition to the massive sack that you just got handed yeah. for uh, for beating a bear in unarmed combat. Probably kidnapped from its mother when it was young and forced to fight. And just... mm. Mm. Exactly, it's true. You just yep. ripped his jaw Sorry. off. The ogres are eating Sorry, it now, man. so <laughs> it's fine. You know, life, life sucks. <laughs> but, um, um, but this is... Mary, uh, sorry, bragging, but Marys is gonna, Marys is gonna go to Sister Shalia right after. Before, it. before heading back to the, uh, yeah, heading back to Thordums. Okay, um, yeah. Bragadine, how about you? Oh, I don't know. Would Bragadine be banned from that place yet? Knowing you, you're not, there? you're not banned yet, but you're still. I'm, I'm sure you're still a regular there as well. Um, your two favorite places in Sealburg are uh, the Silk Canary first, mm. and then the Sisters of Shalia second. Because oh, I love, you I love to, the lady. Yeah, you you, you love the lady, and yes. you need to have your your various um, uh, promiscuous uh, what would we call these uh, afflictions cured from you occasionally. Oh, oh afflictions, please, please. <laughs> afflictions, yes, yeah, yeah. please. Nice. I would love to join you. Those ladies down there are so nice. And they always enjoy my company. Please, I will come with you. Uh, yeah. You don't have to, Bragadine. I mean... I insist as I give him a meaty thwack on the back. Ah! Mm. Oh, <laughs> like, ah! His, his, his ripped shoulder kind of almost tears a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And uh, all of you begin moving back into town. You make it through the woods easily. It's not very far from, from the uh, mm. entrance to the gate. Um, the guard at the, the gate pretty much know what's been happening, so they're just kind of filing people in, and they're kind of motioning them to move quicker um, just because of the time of, uh, the time of night. I'm going to say for brevity... I will roll real quick, unless you really want to role play your sister of Shalia visit. I don't no, no, particularly. okay. No, I'm, I'm, you know, I totally do, but I I'll just ham it up and be an ass. So. Um, critical success, uh, Marius, on your heel check yeah. for your for your surgery. Uh, your surgery. So your surgery goes off well. Um, in addition to just to it closing, so you don't have to worry about it opening up again. Um, it's a very it's going to be a very small scar. It's going to take time for it to completely heal, but you also will recover your toughness bonus and wounds. Okay. All right. And then you can head on back to the thaggy. Um, I'm assuming. I'll donate, yeah, I'll go donate ahead. Three gold as well. Three gold. Oh shit. Yeah. Um, do you do it silently like you did last time, or do you just tell them, hey, I'm doing this? Marius does it silently. Yeah, yeah he just, as on his way out, he donates three gold. Um, you know, give yourself some, a point of resilience for that. Oh, uh, yeah, bro. Yeah. That's a, that's a, that's a, that's a good act of charity right there. Um, mm. so, Seamus. Or I'm assuming yeah. you're heading straight to the uh, the watch, like the where where you can find Otto to turn in this bounty. Yes. Okay. You approach the essentially the police station, um, the jail. Uh, it's not even much of a jail. It's got a couple cells now. It didn't used to, and uh, you just bring in your bounty like you normally do, and old man Otto's there. And he just kind of shakes his head as you bring the, you bring the Diggler inside, 
and uh, motions for you to put them in the back. You do so. And he pays you your six gold. Yes. And you can be on your way. All right. Uh, I can spend it now or I can spend it before the adventure, just whenever. Yeah, just as long as you spend it before we make it to our next set of endeavors. Um, right. I will we'll mention it's like it's like midnight right now. It's late. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's late, okay. late. Yeah, yeah. It's it's dark, dark. Um, maybe not quite midnight. Probably like ten, eleven o'clock, something like that. Um, Otto's not looking. He's looking really sleepy as you walk in. He's probably about time for his uh, for his uh, for him to go home and take a take a nap. Mm-hmm. But um, then you head off to the thaggy yourself, Seamus. The three of you eventually reconvene. Um, what do you guys do at, at th- this night after your winnings and everything else? Bragadine is enchanting everybody with fantastic tales of Mary's prowess. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we have a skill for performance that uh, certain oh, someone no, can roll for. That either. Oh yeah, roll uh, it for me. What? Uh, I don't. I I think it's an advanced skill, so I don't have that. Oh, you don't have skill. it at all. Damn yeah, it. I think no, because I yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a dancer. Yeah, all is right, there all just right. the? I want to say it is. Let me make sure here. Like Dex, maybe. I think it's it fellowship? is. No, it's not fellowship. I'm pretty sure. I gotta look it up now. All right. Perform. It is based off of agility. Go and roll me an agility Damn it. check, Bragging. Damn it. Son of a. Well, this is a this is a tail though. This is a tail though. I will I will I'll give you. Um, no, I'm not going to give you gossip. I will give you a uh, uh, a charm roll. Oh, okay, that's fantastic. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna break that seventy five. Holy, you're gonna love this, bro. You are eighty eight. You are, yeah. Not only that, but you do have a, a minus five to your charm rolls because of your oh, fucked up face. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, I still got like yeah. a 75 charm. Okay. Oh, we rolled 88. Okay. It's a critical oh, fail. Oh, Bragadine's just, oh, he's yeah. being hes being very boisterous. And um, he may have been drinking, you know, may, maybe, maybe a little heavily tonight. Um, Sarah has been kind of side eyeing him because he's getting, he's getting like really loud. And um, talking about how great Marius is, and at some point, I love you, man. Yeah, at you some point, um, Bragadine just begins to uh, he he's shouting so loud that there's a group of dwarves in the corner. Oh no! And one of them is just kind of silently. It looks like he's seething with rage at this manling shouting loudly, disturbing his beer. Oh no! And uh, he looks super upset. Uh, Thordoom notices it and um, eggs you on a little bit more because he's never really <laughs> liked you to begin with. <laughs> and you're you're shouting and shouting and you get animated and you have a beer in your hand and you just kind of throw it over your shoulder and you just slosh this dwarf behind you. Um, I need you to make me a dodge roll, Bragadine. All right. Ooh, we fail. Okay, Bragadine. Uh, just a single failure, though. Yes. You get smacked in the face for 10 wounds. Ooh. Um, all right. You, boom, get rocked by this meaty dwarven paw. Take that, you silky bastard with your puffy fucking shirt. By Grimdia's ball, <laughs> shut the hell up. <laughs> what the, this, this shit. It's fashion and best on, but as I feel my loose teeth, I kind of head, I won't meet his eyes, just have my head down and, and say, yes, Master Dwarf. What? Oh, Jesus. Okay, then. Oh, you Jeez. want me to? Mm. Uh, 
It's It's fine. It's fine. Braggadine <laughs> cows down in front of his men. Oh. Uh. His you men got, are standing there, they're just kind of looking at you as you kind of, right, you just right, kind of right, wimp right, out. Right, and right, you, let, let me reverse this time. I'm not going to, scared to fight dwarves, man. I'm, well, do it, right. fight them. I, I stand <laughs> up. I stand up. Chance they can get on. And yeah, I'm sure like, is. Do it. Jesus. <laughs> Here, Mr. Dwarf. You don't. <laughs> you don't understand. I was, Marius here is a brother to all dwarves. You should see his pick that he uses. No, I, I I did not mean to disturb you. In fact, please let me buy you and your companions another round. But I may never be silenced when it comes to reclaiming the glory of Marius the Mountain. Friend of dwarves. <laughs> Greg, Savior. give me give me a charm roll, Brackadine. Right. <laughs> give me another right. one. <laughs> Jesus. Right. This was uh, that was, oh was far fetched. Are you sitting down right now? Because it is number one. It's a one. It is a one. Okay. Despite um, all odds, <laughs> after that piss poor <laughs> recovery, <laughs> the the dwarf kind of huh, you talk about buying him around. And he starts kind of sniffing the air, and um, Thordrum <clears throat> reaches under the uh, he reaches under the the counter and pulls out a small cask, small. And you can see the eyes of the dwarves go wide. Oh, Only the best for you! Go wide. Yeah, and Marius, yet Marius and Seamus both are like, oh! And he begins <laughs> pouring it. And he pours, he pours six mugs for the dwarves. Then he looks over at uh, Seamus and, uh, and Marius and he pours two more. Hands it to yes. them. And then he looks at you, um, oh. Brankadine. Ah, that'll be 15 gold pieces. Add one on there for me, Mr. Dwarf, and give me the new <laughs> price. That'll be uh, 17 gold pieces as he pours another <laughs> mug for you and puts it in front of you. Fuck me. Uh, yep. I happily take out <laughs> 17 gold pieces. And I say, no, nah, you got it. Almost, almost. Yeah, that's what Braggadine does, though. Thank you, Master Dwarf. The treat is our, all ours. And I take it and quaff it. Oh, yeah, oh I, Jesus. I save it, you, know? you save I mean, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Go, ahead, go ahead and make me this consume alcohol roll. Um, okay, I'm carouser too, bro. So. It'll be straight for you because you're carouser. Marius and Seamus, minus 30. <laughs> Everyone's making a consume what? alcohol roll. Yes. Uh, Ooh, uh, oh. 15. Oh, yeah. Under, I feel uh, 60. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Crushed it. Uh, 15 under 52. So I got uh, three levels of success. Okay. And Seamus? Uh, 22 out of oh, wow. a 37. Mm. Okay. Seamus crushes it. He just takes He takes it back. You don't even, you're, you're saver it. But um, mm -hmm. you're getting you're getting a hell of a buzz. I'll tell you that. Even with mm. the, even with the success. Um, where is my drunk table? Because I have one. Here it is. All right, get ready. Here's my drunk table. Let's, uh, let's see here. You so Marius. Mm -hmm. um, this is kind of fitting for Marius. Uh, Marius gets he gets drunk. He's just oh instantly. I will the. I rolled a ninety-one, just saying. So you know. Okay, yes, yeah, of, it's bad. Out of it's bad. Thirty-one. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> so you are so for the next um, five hours, you're immune to the effects of fear. Not that that's going to matter because you're probably about to go to bed. Um, you're super drunk. All of you, uh, five hours for uh, you, you cannot be afraid. Mm. Um, Marius. If you had any prejudices or animosities towards anyone, you don't right now. As you're dr really as you're bad. just drunk and suddenly you're just a, you're just super happy. Um, Seamus and Bragadine, you guys are drunk, but you don't have any conditions, so you still have a minus ten to uh, all of your tests for the next uh, couple hours as well. Okay. However. Um, during, in this, during this time, Marius, 
you know, you're getting happy. Sarah's uh, excited about about all the money you just brought in. You kind of hand it over to her, and she looks really excited. Even Priscilla looks excited um, about about uh, about you winning and everything, even though she didn't see the fight. Um, and you you got cleaned up pretty good before you came here. And I'm assuming I I brought back my gold from my adventures to them as well. You know. Yeah, exactly. Having, over the time, having them yeah. spend it. You know. Yeah, exactly. So. They look extremely excited. And um, Sarah mentions something to Thordum about watching Priscilla for the night. Um, don't know what that's about. It's kind of weird. But uh, almost like she wants to get you in the room by yourself. Uh, regardless, um, while everyone is still down here drinking and just having having a good time, um, somebody comes in through the uh, through the door, Marius. And approaches you while you're drunk. And it's a uh, small man. Um, if Bragadine wasn't as uh, raucously drinking as he is over with his companions, some of his men at arms are here. He would recognize him as the the man that delivered the, uh, the summons by Mr. Gold. And he approaches you, Marius. Bear's Wolf. <laughs> yes, friend. I yes, um, some I was told things. to uh, extend an olive branch by Mr. Goldgrabber. I like olives. I can see that. Well, sir, Mr. Gold has begun to put together a group of like-minded individuals to take care of the uh, rodent infestation, and he would like your cooperation. <laughs> oh, sounds grand. I guess just because I'm not prejudiced right now. Oh, yes, you have no animosity towards Mr. Gold right yeah. now. This is great. Yeah. Hmm. Yes, um... Well, I will uh, I will let him know that to expect you in the morning or meeting and then he gives you a detailed place outside of town in the woods. Okay. Do I remember it? I will see if you remember it <laughs> later in the morning. <laughs> but as of okay, right now yeah. he just details it to you and then he <laughs> yeah. uh, and then he quickly leaves. Um and this happens okay. at some point in the night. You don't even know everything's starting to run together. Yeah. Um, and the night ends. So, uh, is everybody staying here? Or is Bragadine retiring to his house? I got some of my lads with me. Oh, yes. Yeah, we're, we're going to stagger back back to uh, Castle Bragadine. Castle Bragadine. Um, Fort Bragadine. <laughs> Ooh, um, there we go. On your way back, Bragadine. You see uh, not a lot of people out anymore. You a couple guards shuffle by, and everybody knows you at this point. You've been here long enough. Everybody recognizes you as you. And you make it back to your house, which isn't too far. It's a few blocks away mm -hmm. from the faggy. And it no longer smells of rat and shit and everything else and blood. Wow. It is, it's been cleaned um, a new door, new door has been fitted with a new lock after what Marius did to the previous one. And all in all, um, it's actually, you've actually done a little bit of additions to the house. Um, mm -hmm. there's room upstairs now for several of your men at arms to stay on, on site if you so need them to. Um, there also, as you go to open the door, there is a, um, a young boy about 12 years old that is um, dressed in, in nice attire and opens the door as he sees you coming. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes, yes, ma yes, ma Master Bono, right, right this way, this way, sir. I've got well, your bed ready for you. Good, good. Uh, thank you, thank you. But, uh, Hey, help me with my my boots. Uh. Of, co of course, sir. Of course. And he, as he's taking your boots off, he starts rattling on about, 
Yes, you you know the 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 local paper's been writing this this and this, and I just uh, you know I just I I really appreciate you taking me on, sir. I really appreciate you. I I it's it's my dream to get out of this town and just and and, and make a name for myself like you. Oh well, I'm so flattered. Uh, uh, remind me. Uh, uh, what was your name again? It is the drink oh, it has gotten to oh, me. Oh, I you. Oh, of course, of I, I, I suppose I have one of those faces. Um, well, you usually just call me boy, but um, I, I, su I suppose you, I could. Uh, Theodore, go. that's right, it was Theodore. Uh, you, you remembered? Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> thank first. you. Yes, first. yes, yes, Master. Uh, I well, said, no. you. I, you, you have good, you have good resolve. Good, good. Um, <laughs> But now is the time where the Lord of the House here, myself, uh, yeah, yes, sir, uh, yes, finish, yes, 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 and he gets your, he gets your, he's got your both your boots off at this point. Okay, excellent, excellent. Um, now is mm. the time that I, 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 I like to have quite contemplation. So unless. Um, you have something this is very important to tell me right now. No, 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 well, no. Of course, of course, of course. Get your get, get your sleep, and uh, we will. Uh, what? Well, you know, I'll just I'll just leave this here, and he. Uh, that's, um, that's good. He, he leaves something on uh, the equivalent of your dresser by by your bed, which you're more than likely too tired to even look at. You just kind of slump down. Massage your bruised jaw and a pass out. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, Seamus, where are you staying for the night? Um, There's a lovely I lady would. upstairs that really would like your company. Um, she she would uh, enjoy it thoroughly. She's flashed you her leg a couple times throughout the night. Mm. Um, just saying. You're drunk too bad. Um, Seamus would. <laughs> uh, Seamus wants to talk to Thor, dude, and we can role play this out. Or you, I can just tell you what I want. Just okay, well, well, what what are you looking for? Uh, so we we have seen Skaven, correct? Like we've laid eyes on Skaven. Oh yes. Uh, Seamus would inquire with Thordoom about Skaven. Um, you will remember that. Uh... Thordum gets really animated when you talk mm -hmm, about Skaven. Mm -hmm. And um, as you <laughs> as you begin to ask him about the rat folk, he gets into one of his rants about how filthy grabbing sons of horse! And he grabs a hold of his blunderbuss and starts waving it around and he's just screaming and everybody starts getting real quiet. <laughs> and at some point, he puts a round through the ceiling. And Sarah has to come over and slap him across the face and scold him for acting like a small child. And he kind of sulks a little bit and puts his blunderbuss away. And you learn nothing because he's not a reliable source of information when it comes to this. However, mm. however, as you're talking to Thordum. There is the dwarf that socked mm -hmm. Bragadine in the face that's kind of sitting there. Mm. Yeah, Hi, I'll Madeline. Say. I'll tell you about the Thagaraki. What you need to know. Uh, what? What, 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 do, what, do they, what do they do? They're, I've mm. seen them before and they're here. The bloody rats. What don't they do? They eat, they steal, they consume. They're a plague. They have they've had these greenish I'm gonna call them weapons. Hmm. I've seen them I've seen them use this. Yeah they tend to use uh we call it warp stone. Boy, I believe you manlings refer to it as weird stone. Best not approach it, son. It has um ill effects with your kind. They they hate, they like to hit and run. The ones we've seen. Oh, they, the cowards, always. 
that's they that's the... wear some type of they have cloaks and they throw they throw daggers yeah sneaky sneaky all all of them rat and he takes a long pull off of his uh off of his his bugman's ale that he's drinking courtesy of raggedy Bono. um mm -hmm. <clears throat> All them rat bastards, they just, they can't have a fair fight. We would have wiped them out thousands of years ago. Ah, I tell you, boy, I tell you, on me ancestors, I will see the death of every last one of those foul creatures. Well, friend, uh, well, they're here, and I would have come into some money recently. Mm -hmm. If you're going to be in town, money. Mm. I, I have a feeling we're going to be crossing paths with them if oh. we accept some coin. I see. Well, uh, not one to turn down coin, my boy. And he looks back over his shoulder at the other dwarves, and you would know this, Marius. Um, and Seamus, you probably would have caught on by now. You spent enough time around Thordum. Um, Dawi don't need as much rest as a human being, mm -hmm. and um, they're ready to go now. Hey, we, we gotta get it ready now. They're drinking heavily. Oh, no, no, no. We we can go right now. <laughs> no, let's let's have a round, a night, a night of drinking. We can discuss. I need to learn more about these loud creatures. What's the alarm, boy? I've told you what you need to know. Just point me in the right direction. I, I don't know. I'll get back to you. I guess we'll, we'll talk about this more. Mm. Us mandolings need rest. We'll talk about this in the morning. Ah. We're still here. Mm. Weak constitution. I know. Ah, just a mandoline after all. And he kind of slaps you hard across the back. Mm. Um, ah, and then ribs. shuffles ribs off are... towards <laughs> towards his, the, the other dwarves that he was with. Um, Those are badge of dwarven friendship. <laughs> he, he he calls back towards <laughs> towards Seamus as he's walking over there. Ah, oh manling, we have business here up till tomorrow. You best be finding us if you need us. Otherwise, we'll be on our way. And he, uh, what do I call you? Ask for Leadfoot. Thordum knows how to reach me. Hi. Nice to meet you, Leadfoot. My name's Seamus. Hi, Manling. Manling you are. And he just kind of begins drinking his beer once again over in the corner. Where does Seamus retire for the night? Oh, God. Seamus, Seamus is going to retire yeah. at the bar. He's just going to stay up He's so late. He's just going to drink. He's going to sleep in the common room. He's going to pass out on the bar. Mm -hmm. That's fine. I'll talk to um, Thordum about other random things. Yeah, you're talking to Thordum. Um, let's see if Seamus, at at some point, um, can resist the urge, the temptation, right. to be drug upstairs by a certain large woman. <laughs> um, uh, go ahead and give me a cool test, Seamus. Hmm. She's trying to All charm right. you. Minus ten. Oh, you do have a minus Weird. ten. We're going to re-roll that one. Um, <laughs> oh, uh, a minus 10? Yes. Oh, oof. That is going to be a 38 out of 39. Okay, oh, Seamus. That's enough. Um, <laughs> that's enough. <laughs> Seamus, uh, I'll, you know, you recognize her, Seamus. You recognize her. She comes up. Um, her corset is really tight, um, holding in most of the rolls. Um, mm. she comes up to you and kind of unbuttons first two or three little runs towards the top. Um, shows a, shows a little leg, hikes the leg up, kind of sit next to you, starts kind of hanging on you. And at some point during the night, Seamus, you just you just don't know what happens. God damn it. And you start <laughs> what's, her, and, what's her name again? 
You bought Tetris. This one's Helga. No, this one's Olga. Excuse me. This is Olga. This one's Olga. Helga works in the Canary. Um, and you wake up uh, the next morning, and the large, meaty arms of Olga <laughs> in her room. <laughs> Yet again, for the third time. Mm. Uh, um, uh, the whole night, you know, I think I'm partying with uh, three. You do, you do. I wake up and it's Olga. <laughs> <laughs> you wake up, <laughs> yeah, you do. Um, in the morning, the three of you awaken. Um, Seamus, I'm assuming you slip out from under Olga at some point and oh, yeah. retrieve your things as quickly myself. and quietly as possible. <laughs> then you you make your way downstairs. Thordum just kind of gives you a big ha ha. I I knew I liked your mandling. You you pick a good woman right there, good lass, good firm thing you get a hold of. Not like Marius over there. You know Sarah's a good good a good lady on her own, but. No meat on the bones. And keeps he he goes on for a minute. Um and he he looks at you and he says, uh hi uh Seamus, there's a, there's a man looking for you right over there. And he points towards the corner. Seamus looks over. What does he look like? You look over and you see a man wearing the uniform of the road wardens. He uh, he walks up to you, uh, Seamus McCready, and you don't recognize him. You do recognize the uniform, though. Who wants to know? Velkin wants to know. Velkin requiring a audience between you and your what do you call yourselves, fellowship or something of the sorts? Your two friends. <sighs> Why, why does Velkin want to talk to us? Why does he want to talk to them? I don't ask questions. I just do as I'm told. I suggest you do the same. Well, if you do as you're told, then get the fuck out of my face. He drops. He wasn't even smiling before, but he turns on his heel. You know where to find us. Three hours. Yeah, and yeah, he, that I do, and I kind of he wave walks. My hand. He walks. He begins walking out of the bar. Don't make us come looking for you, Seamus. The door closes behind him. Ah. Odin, why are you letting characters like that in here? I didn't know he's gonna be like that, Seamus. But you having trouble with uh, with the road wardens again? Mm, I think they're having trouble with me. Hey, indeed, indeed. Is it that uh, that 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 thing on your hip? He points towards the the sword. Ah, uh, who knows? Who knows? Mm, well, best be careful. Sounds like they need Marius and Bragadine as well. You might want to round them up. Uh, Marius let, is upstairs. Let him sleep in. Let him sleep in. He, I think he killed a bear last night. Hi, yeah, they did, and he holds up he holds up the jawbone in his hand. It's cl it's been cleaned, um, Jeez, and it's just it's just a white bone. Hi, yes, a fine trophy. Gave it to me. Can you believe it? Uh, well, I said gave uh, it to me. I beat him in that arm wrestling contest. The boy was <laughs> the boy was sloshed to say the least. Yeah, I know he he likes to think he's as strong as you, but. <laughs> yeah, he kind of nudges you a little bit. I I knew I liked you, Seamus. I knew I've always liked you. Well, and um, it's at this point, do I, see yeah. lead, do I see Leadfoot in there? You do not. You do not see Leadfoot okay. or the other dwarves. Alright. Um, um, Marius, you yep. are waking up. Um, first off, uh. You didn't take any damage, did you, Seamus? No, you didn't, no. you didn't take any. Okay, so you don't have to worry about it. Marius, I need you to make me an endurance test at minus 30. Okay. All right. It's a fail. Uh, 93 huh. out of... Uh, what's that? 
30, 35. Okay. You do recover your toughness bonus and wounds. Okay. However, you also have one point of exhaustion. Okay. As uh, Marius had a long, long night of ruckus um, activity <laughs> in his room with his uh, with his wife, and yes. he is not spry in the morning. He's a little he's a little tender. <sighs> his arm hurts from where it was healed yep. yesterday. He's just not feeling is feeling as limber as he usually is. Mm. But you kind of give, give yourself a big stretch. Yeah, you are getting you're getting up, you're getting up there in years at this point. You'll be mm. a, you'll be a, an old man in no time. Gosh, you old man. True. Uh, Do you come downstairs, Marius? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I'd, I'd get get ready, you know, for the day. Yeah. Do I remember um, my conversation with the little guy? Let's go ahead and uh, let's ro let's roll a d10. A d10. Um, yeah. And if you roll below a three, you will remember. Mm -hmm. I rolled an eight. So you do not remember the conver any conversation right. you had last night. <laughs> um, uh, I'll 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 just you know try to quietly go downstairs. Okay, easily done. You you're a practice Check on hand Priscilla at this. Or... Yeah, Priscilla's yeah. actually staying in the room next to yours. Um, mm -hmm. Thordoom puts her up in that one. Um, whenever you and uh, Sarah need some 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 alone time nowadays, mm -hmm. Priscilla's getting bigger. Can't just put the yeah. curtain up anymore. Um, yeah, yeah. So, so yes. <laughs> so you you kind of check in on her. She's asleep and sleep and sound. Um, you go downstairs. You find Seamus at the bar. Ah, uh, Seamus, what happened last night? Oh, I have you got you got pretty fucked up. Oh, oh I I feel it. Lord, I have... get a little hair of the dog and I uh, ask for a drink, you know. Oh, of course, Marius. And he moves to pick up the small cask and he... Oh! That bastard! What? What happened? Oh, curse you! Curse you, then! Ah! He's about to start screaming <laughs> and his <laughs> cask of Bugsman's Ale is empty. Oh, no. mm, and he no. smashes it on the ground. He's God. He's just pissed off. <sighs> Not the bug man. I guess the standard ale will do then. And he pours himself a mug, which it's still delicious. It's just, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. it's not bug oh, yeah. Pours an ale for mm. the three of you. He angrily chugs his, um, <laughs> slams his down. You guys drink your beers. He moves into the back uh, to to curse more. You hear him cursing and swearing in the uh, in the back through the doors. Uh, well, well, Marius, we've, we've already been summoned for the day. By whom? You remember Velkin? Ah, your old boss. Who took over my house. Yeah. Ah, uh, well. Somehow, he knows about the three of us, and he wants us to come out and meet him. Hmm. Well, I don't think I have any plans today, so... Sounds good to he me. Didn't, he didn't say about what, but... I've got to go get Benoit before we go. I've, you know, I, I don't call him Benoit anymore, I just call him Braggity. Mm. He's a bastard, you know. <laughs> Uh, you know, aren't, aren't we all at some point? I'm Marius, also. Uh, I met some, some <laughs> dwarfs last night. The one that punched Raggedine. He got punched? He did. No, you, don't you, don't, you don't remember that. Ah, no. I remember uh, killing the bear, getting patched up, and then it was blackness. Uh, he would have loved it. He he got punched and he he cowered down like a like the pathetic Bretonian that he is or was. Oh, but then he ended up buying everybody around a Bugman's. Ah, uh, explains the blacks. <laughs> I thought you would hold your beer a little better than that, Marius. Anyway, he lost uh, a lot of blood. 
these these dwarfs. I offer them coin to help us fight our uh, rat friends. Oh, good idea, Seamus. So we need to seek them out before we get involved with that. They said they were leaving some some time today, so we gotta we gotta do that. All right, all right. Let's go get anyway, ready. if you're ready, let's go. Let's go get them. Yeah, I'll get my gear and stuff. And <clears throat> all right, and uh, we'll begin heading tell, out. Tell Sarah goodbye. You know. Yeah, and... tell Sarah goodbye and all that. Um, Yell out to uh, to Thor to make sure the lead the lead foot stays there. Yeah, as and it's it's funny, um, Seamus, as you're you're moving to to leave, as uh, Marius has already passed out of the door, you hear uh, 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 a a husky voice from upstairs. Seamus. Seamus, where are you? You can hear through the holes in the uh, <laughs> in the floorboard where there's big holes from Thordoom's blunderbuss um, as the bed begins to creak loudly as a ALR shape shifts off of the bed. And I'm assuming you quickly duck out of the bar yes, into the street. I, I don't know, Seamus. Seamus, you dog. <laughs> um, Tanty, you were the only one that blacked out. <laughs> 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 and uh Bragadine, um you awaken at at some mm-hmm. point in the morning and you notice that there is a envelope on your bedside table and you begin to reflect back and you remember that your uh your assistant Theodore had had left it there because you were you were too inebriated to partake in looking at it. Why did you not give this to me last night? Exactly why you whip him. Oh, Pitch. wow. <laughs> um, God. And, dear Lord. <laughs> so, yes. <laughs> um, we're going to skip over the whipping of the young boy. Um, <laughs> if, if that, if dark, that happens. Yeah, these, are, these are dark times where they beat each other, It's okay. <laughs> um, regardless, you take the letter and you open it. Um, it is written in Bretonian. Okay. And it says, they are watching. And it has a symbol on okay. the paper. And you would recognize it as the... Coat of arms for the Bono household. Okay, that's strange. Anything else? Can I tell? Uh, all right. Um, could I tell? Does it seem to be a masculine script or a more feminine script? Um, give me an intuition test. Okay. I rolled a one. Okay. Yeah. It definitely yeah. looks feminine. Okay. Hmm. I don't see any other symbol like uh, no, even even perhaps now even with a critical success, all you see is that you smell the paper. There's no scent. Okay. Um, that's that's it. You can tell that it was written by a woman. Mm. In Bretonian. With, in, Breto- uh, in Bretonian. With my house symbol. And All the right. symbol okay. isn't, um, it's not like a, uh, it's sketched. It's not like, um, it's not like a, a wax seal or anything like that. It's like somebody sketched it on, onto the, uh, okay. to the parchment. All right. Mm. I'll have to ask the ask Theodore where the letter came from. See if we can get any clues. Okay, you get up, and Theodore is still fast asleep. Um, he sleeps um, in the uh, cupboard closet because apparently you, this is where you would where you would put a boy that you whip often, and he oh, kind of he kind of perks up, and uh, yes, uh, oh 
Yes, 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 uh, Mr. Vanilla, yes, um, are you ready to start your day? Yes, I'll, I'll get breakfast. I'll get it, I'll get it Excellent. ready right, together right now. Excellent. And where did you get this, this letter from? Oh, yes, 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 uh, well, it was a, um, it was a, a woman. I mean, she was very, she was very attractive, uh, sir, uh, very, very, very good looking. I, I, I honestly. Very, very good looking. I mean, did the, was the I, hair fair as the sun? Oh, well, she was, she was, was wearing a, she was wearing a, a cloak, but, uh, her hands were, were white. She was, she was very beautiful. And you see there's a, a weird stare that he has as he's talking about her. And I'll let you the, I'll let you stumble over with your previous critical success, your last intuition test. Mm. There's something a little not right when he's talking about her. Something's a little off about it. Okay. I am... Um... And he, it's, it's almost like he's not able to give you details about this person. Mm. I'm... I'm, I'm... I almost feel like perhaps he's mesmerized by his encounter. Perhaps, so, perhaps there's something yep, a little yep. scrambled his his little mm -hmm. tiny brain, um, and so he uh, can't he can't give you specific details about the person. All you know is that it's a woman. She was wearing a cloak, and she had beautiful white skin. Okay, I uh... Theodore. If you ever wish to be a writer, you must be a, remember details better than that. Uh, oh, get, yes, get yes, my, my lord. Silence, get my breakfast, and we will. I will see if we can begin your lessons. Yes, sir. I'll, I'll bring the. I'll bring the king, as he brings his, <laughs> brings your, <laughs> brings you, <laughs> your breakfast, no, and no, then no, no, no. assumes will. the position because apparently Bragadine beats oh children often. <laughs> Often. Bro, I was just trying to make it yeah. historic when you take, have to take it into there. Are we, uh, we going to edit more stuff out? No. We just, we'll, we'll, we'll backtrack that one. Look, he doesn't bring the cane. <laughs> he just brings the... <laughs> okay. yeah. he, he just brings the breakfast at this point. And... Um, you have your breakfast, and at some point while you're eating, um, there's a knock at the door. It's Marius and Seamus standing there as uh, Theodore opens the door. Oh, yeah, yes, yes. Um, uh, my, Master, Master Brackettine's friends. Oh, yeah, yeah, right in here. He's having breakfast. Would you like some? Mm. Uh, I'll pass. Thanks. I, uh, Miss, Mr. Marius? I'm good, I'm good. Oh, excuse me. Marius the please, Mountain? Please, the boy loves to cook for us. I please, do, I, please. I do, I enjoy please, cooking. Them something. Bacon yes, fry. yes, of course, of course, no. of course, sir, of course. He, he moves over to the little small, small kitchenette that's in this studio <laughs> that is uh, Braggadine's workroom and begins uh, cooking something up for you guys. Marius, uh, you, you look, you look horrible. You, you look even worse than after the bear. Did you, uh, did you, what were you doing all night? I don't honestly remember. Uh, My loins you... are sore, though. Uh, oh, <laughs> I have had so many nights like that. I, it was something well, I'm sure. We, we, you, you woke up with women, though, right? Correct? <laughs> correct, correct. Okay, good, good. What about you, Seamus? Oh, I can tell by the look in your eyes that you woke up with a woman. Oh, man. Oh. Mm. Mm. Uh, sit, sit. Yeah. Would would Seamus find it weird that there's a, a kid as his assistant or is this no like not even knowledge bro not nah, even bro you've seen it you've seen it <laughs> well, yeah. he took he took this kid on as his assistant like a few months ago um, that's the way it um, used to be he used to take apprentices instead of like going to school and stuff yeah basically yeah. instead of going to like school he's learning from uh, the greatest teacher of all time Lord Bragg yeah dude yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's his, gonna rule the his, empire someday. Are his troops? Oh. Uh, are his troops in the the building? Are there? Yeah, uh, they will be served breakfast as well. Um, I believe you. Oh. There were there would be at least three men um, staying in here. Okay. Three men at arms. That There's a large table or something. Oh yes, big 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 table. 
um, down okay. here. The apartment is is much more lavish than it was before. Um, not okay. not a lot of clutter, and there is like an actual dining room now, in addition to to like Bragadine's workstation. So, all right, then Marius is going to sit down and start eating mm-hmm. or getting ready to eat. All right, you guys are brought a meal. You eat if you so choose. Um, and what are we doing next? Oh, the fact is, the reason we're here is because we need to go out into the woods. You need to come with us. I do. Um, is it another... No one has contacted me. Otto has not said anything. Do we Do we need to go do clear out some, uh, some beasts? I don't know. We have to go talk to the road wardens. I thought they had an office here in, in Silberg. Ah, well, they don't. We have to go out to the woods. This better not be a trick, Seamus. It's his his old family home. You know, they took over his his home when he was away. Of course, I am am just... I am still waking up here. Boy... Why did you waste so much food over there? Clearly, we are about to leave. Put that up. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, of, of course, of course, sir. Of course, I'll. Uh, I'll put it up. And he kind of like begins shoveling it into like a large pail. You know, he's probably just going to throw it out back at some point. Um, <laughs> but yes, <laughs> but yes, he begins. Well, he, he begins. He begins. Yeah. He begins clearing the table. Um, are you guys setting out? Yeah. Seamus will leave his food so the kid can eat it. Okay. And uh, he does look at it like longingly as you as you walk away. But yeah, Seamus yeah. is going to go get on his horse if we're all heading out. Okay. I am going to strap a sword on and uh, do I Wait, have shield, bro? Yeah, I was I just thinking as much. Well, I don't know if we're going to combat. I'm trying to think. You would definitely strap a sword on. Uh, it's it's uh, you. I will. I will say. You tell and with me. Seamus around. You never know. Seamus right. is. Uh, Seamus usually wears his full getup just because mm-hmm. that's what he's been doing this entire time. Um, he's at a house. He just like. Yeah. Sleeps. He just. He just like lives in his Wherever armor practically. That's yeah. Practically. True. Yeah. All right. Um, um, Theodore, stop clean. Stop messing with that and help me get my armor on. Uh, of course, sir, of course. And he comes over and he begins helping you strap on um, the armor you have. I will say that um, you can, you, Bragadine, do you remember what you had left at the end of the last? Uh, I had, I had chainmail where I believe I'd lost the head armor. Mm-hmm. And I have a heater shield. I have a breastplate where I've lost one point of armor. And mm-hmm. I had two greaves. Okay, I will allow you to have the breastplate. Breastplate has been repaired. Oh, sweet. Um, okay. So that can be repaired at this point. So you have a full set of chainmail, a breastplate, and the greaves. Oh, okay, cool. If you're going to get in your full getup. Okay. Okay. I am. Um, yes. All right. Um, Marius, what are you wearing out? Well, I'll be honest. Most of my stuff is like had some damage to it, you know, at some point. Yeah, I don't yeah. have any of my leather equipment that I, I set off with. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, uh, so all I had was the full chain yeah. uh, suit. Okay. Um, I didn't have a head. I, I have like damage in my arms and on one of my legs. All right. Uh, well, I'll say that you can have a full chain set and it will be repaired. Okay. All right. Marius would probably like leave it like down and, until he got into combat. You know, he'd like probably put up his, his coif. Mm-hmm. But he's wearing mm-hmm. his his uh, his normal shirts and stuff on the outside, I guess. So. Okay. How's that work, actually? I don't know how it works. You can wear, you can, yeah, you can wear your your clothing over it. It's kind of, you know, kind of like Bilbo style, wearing the chain Bilbo underneath, style, yeah. you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Mitra. 
It's not mithril, though, unfortunately. Oh, <laughs> so, but yes. <laughs> so you can have some of your chain on underneath. You you jingle, though. Like, it's it does weigh you down yeah. wearing a full set she, of chain. She, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll have Jingies on with me. Okay. Uh, in, my, in my knuckle dusters. All right. And, and probably... Yeah. Can we say that we've acquired bandages and torches and stuff like that? Yeah, yeah. We can We can smooth over that. That's fine. Just so okay. you guys can have have some stuff, um, you guys begin to set out for the uh, right. for the road wardens. Sorry, one th- one last thing. Sorry, bro. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm gonna be, um, give Theodore a brass on my way out. Oh, do good work, son. That, thank and, you, son. Uh, thank you. He tucks it away in his little shirt pocket. Yeah, that's all I wanted to do. Um, Bragadine, are you having your the three men at arms here follow you? Yes. Okay. They they collect their things and they uh, they come with. Um, you guys set out for the road wardens. It's not very far. Um, Seamus knows exactly where it's at. It was his old childhood home. They've turned this into a almost a, a small fortress at this point. Um, there are walls wooden walls, uh, mostly just like trees that have been kind of cut and, and pinned together. So you can still see there's gaps, but, um, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And there's, there's a, um, a walkway towards the top of it where people can patrol it. And many of the houses have been reinforced, uh, into like large cabins, essentially. There's a, a uh, a stables for all the horses, since all of them have horses. And there's a fair amount of people here. You're looking at, um, currently, or this early in the day, Seamus, as you come walking in, um, you're in the lead. Well, you're not walking in. You're kind of clopping, mm-hmm. uh, slowly trotting your horse inside while Marius and Bragadine and the other couple of men um, shuffle in behind you. Which I will say, Bragadine, I will give you a horse. Since you can ride it, so you can just be on a horse as well. And the three of you, you enter, enter, and and why am I echoing? Why am I echoing? I have no I have idea. idea. I don't know either. We're all echoing echo. out of Mr. Galactic's headset somehow. It, like it, it stopped. It's fine. <laughs> so okay <laughs> so the three of you enter and there are about 10 15 um road wardens kind of just out and about kind of going about normal business um i want all of you to give me intuition tests okay. Ooh. 25 out of 51 Okay. Marius? Marius rolled an 81 out of 30. Okay. And Bragadine, if you're with us. He must be having problems with the headset. It's fine. Um, regardless, currently, um, Seamus... No, I'm, I'm here. I'm serious. You're here. I'm sorry. I'm here. Uh, I, I can hear you. I just... It's not important. What was the test again? I was definitely hey. trying to get... In- intuition test. Ah. Uh. 57 out of uh, intuition. You know what? That's 67. So I've got one level of success. Okay. All right. So you're not as familiar, um, Bragadine, so you don't notice it as much as Seamus does. Seamus, you see about 15 guys wandering about um, doing their normal work. They each have... uh, uh, a lot of them have pistols, crossbows. They've got various armor meant about them. They're all armed already. Like they're maybe they're getting ready to go out on a raid or something like that. Probably searching for Three Fingers and her her ilk. Um, but you notice that they shut the gate behind you as the three of you enter, um, accompanied mm. with with Bragadine's um, men at arms, mm. and they bar it. With a with a large piece of wood like uh, that you would use to bar it from being broken into, it takes about three Shana's men put, to lower it in Shana's place. Put the, starts to put a hand towards his pistol. 
Yeah, you do. You do so as you're very on edge. And you notice Bertrand and Giggles are up ahead, and they've got just blank stares on their face as they're kind of just looking out over the walls. They don't even acknowledge you. Then Velkin walks out of his cabin, and you recognize him, tall, darker hair. And he looks at the three of you, smiles, draws his pistol, and that's where we're going to end tonight's episode of Rise of the Forsaken. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah! Fuck yes. Oh, Jesus Excited. Christ. Mm. Not cool. Mm. It's going to be exciting, bro. We've got men at arms. Everybody's armored oh. up. Everybody's in good health. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm all right. Can't I'm wait. all right. Health. I'm not. I'm not great. I'm not it's great. gonna be great. Don't worry. I'm very excited Oof, about next I'll, session. I'm, I'm so glad I got that fast shot talent now. That's just... <laughs> exactly. You take a yep. shot real quick before he does. <laughs> um. Yeah. But uh, man, that was it, was. it was a good episode, guys. I enjoyed it. Um. Dirk Diggler making an appearance. I mean, come on. <laughs> Dirk Diggler. Dirk Diggler. <laughs> you know. What's what's not to like, bro? Dirk Dirk made an appearance. Marius killed a bear with his bare hands. Um, I've been looking forward to that one for a long time. That was always going to be the champion. Was going to be a bear. Was it? Yes. <laughs> so Good Bobo, really. <laughs> it's awesome. Um, oh. yeah, yeah. Uh, so uh, favorite moments from the cast and crew, like we usually do. We'll start with uh, Mr. Wolf. Uh, you know, there's a lot, there's a lot of good moments. I, um, enjoyed the very beginning with the mysterious large man, um, and his cauldron of cold, uh, mm -hmm. uh, flashbacks of little Marius. Um, I also did rather enjoy, you know, uh, investigations are all of our endeavors a lot, you know, mm -hmm. uh, enjoyed that process and. I enjoyed the appearance of Dirk Diggler. Uh, Dirk Diggler. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and his excellent mustache. Yes. Well, yes. He's, he's behind bars now. He won't be... Mm. Who knows what anymore. he did. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Some foul <laughs> Slaneshi worship, I'm sure. So, no. <laughs> so, how about Mr. Doobie? Favorite moments of the night, Doobie? Oof. Um, Marius' wedding, even though... Mm. You know, it was very quick. You know, it was good for him. I know we had joked off sessions about Skaven showing up and, <laughs> and know, murdering, murdering his wife. Murdering yeah. poor, poor with Sarah. <laughs> yeah. You know. mm. Um, mm. I enjoyed that. And uh, I also enjoyed the end. Mm. Getting boxed into this, this cattle pen here with old, my old friend Velkin pulling a gun on me. Yeah, pulled Dad a gun on Velkin. you. Oh, you don't pull guns on Seamus. Yeah, don't pull guns on Seamus. Yeah, Seamus. You're about to learn what happened to your other road wardens. Oh, <laughs> so, <boy>. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> about to get a little close encounter. How about uh, old mm. uh, old Pierce Galactic? Favorite moments of the night, mm. sir? Man, it was a really profitable night, I'll tell you that. A lot of fun. Um, the thing, though, that I really enjoyed the most was the banter between Marius and Seamus and the Thaggy, like, the next morning. And like Shame is just talking shit about first he coward like I just I was I was laughing, it really was. I mean there was so many good stuff, so much good stuff, but it was just like, that conversation, the, the banter between you two then was just like, I, I was dying. It's fucking awesome. Mm. Mm. I'm I'm Maris's best friend. Maris's best friend. Oh man, yeah. I only claimed the best <laughs> friend spot. Mm. Well, I'm Same. standing up there next to him at the wedding, you know. Oh yeah. man, oh, old Seamus, oh, old Seamus, old Seamus. Marius is number one. Number one, <laughs> old number one. <laughs> this is fantastic. I love it. Um, my favorite moment of the night was certainly getting all of you to come to Velkin's hideout all together. Mm -hmm. um, nobody like did anything else beforehand. It was great. I loved it. You're all in there. It's going to be great. I'm super excited for, for next session. Cause yes, yes, indeed. Oh. I was hoping we get to this. Well, ho hopefully the adventure hasn't started yet so I can spend all my money. 
I mean, you, you're you're not too far from town, but I know I don't know. We'll oh. see. We'll see how this goes. Oh god damn it! I know. Isn't that bad? I want my when grenade launcher. I need the fans to blow up the comments. <laughs> my <section>. grenade launcher. <laughs> yes, <she's laughs> <a> grenade launcher. <laughs> grenade launcher. Jeez. God. god bless the grenade launcher. I want something that shoots an explosive. Cylinder. Oh, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. From my gun. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Fantastic. But um, as far as viewer decisions are concerned, <laughs> this is kind of a tough one um, this time around. I need to know um, how many additional men are in this complex outside of the ones I described. Um, oh. Let me just put it like this. I need a vote between five and ten. And we will we will find out soon how this all goes down. So, but yes, um, thank you very much if you've made it this far, guys. Um, I've, we greatly appreciate you. Thank you for, uh, for watching and for enjoying the story as it unfolds. Um, I am certainly enjoying uh, DMing this. It's been, it's been an honor and a pleasure. And uh, I get to role play with these, these fine individuals, the Fellowship. We all enjoy your guys, um, your your comments. So do make sure to leave those down there and vote in the viewer decision, please. Um, just because I'm I'm curious how much you guys want me to torture them. Please let me torture them, uh, <laughs> because I enjoy it. I enjoy it so much. But regardless, guys, I have a jumbo thick. This has been Rise of the Forsaken, and we are all looking forward to seeing you in the next episode. Have a good day. <laughs>